The Rogue Type S from NCIX PC is powered by Intel Core i7-4790K and Intel 730 Series SSD. Click the link in the description to unleash your options for true performance. Hello everyone, I'm Dimitri with Hardware Canucks and if you're in the market for a right-handed mouse uh, that uh, delivers the best experience for tracking that I have experienced so far, then you have come to the right place. Because today we're taking a look at the Myonix Caster. This is a $69 mouse that has perfected all of the elements when it comes to just being functional. Now I've been using the Neo 7000 as my daily driver for over a year now and when Myonix told me confidently that uh, I will be replacing Placing the nails with the caster, I didn't know what to think about that until I opened it up, placed it on my mat, and put my hands on it. And that's when my mind changed, because this is uh, seriously one of the best mice that I've used to date. So the first impressions of the form and materials used were completely satisfactory, as the lightly rubberized coating feels non-slip and cool, plus I love the textured thumb support, which makes lifting the mouse super easy without needing to readjust the grip. Although I did notice that moisture might accumulate on the rubber dimples from sweat or if your hands are just wet, and it loosens the grip and just becomes slippery, so just keep that space dry. The form of the caster is phenomenal, being much smaller than the name and you'd think that feel less supportive for palm or claw grip, but the contours of the right side let your ring and pinky fingers just rest in place without any sensitive pressure, while the curvature on the left side fits the thumb very well, uh, right in the reach of the two browser buttons above. Notice this is not a symmetrical mouse, and thus all emphasis has been placed to create the most comfortable shape for right hand use, and I think Myonix achieves that perfectly. Now let's talk buttons. The single DPI switch behind the scroll wheel is easy to access and cycles between three DPI settings, although unfortunately without any visual indicator on screen or on the mouse itself, and you just have to feel the sensitivity. The scroll wheel is fantastic, with distinct scroll steps and light enough press for actual use in games. The thumb buttons have a satisfying click and primary left and right clicks deliver a nice balance between speed and pressure. I've had zero issues inside pistol rounds where speed and consistency of the left click is absolutely crucial. The RGB lighting on the mouse is welcome, both the logo at the back and the scroll wheel I vibrantly lit, obviously it's nice to color match your peripherals, but one thing that I do appreciate is the fact that they do not use the whole RGB 16.7 million colors to sell the mouse. It is one of the marketing points in the website but it's at the very bottom, and also in this very tiny font on the packaging, as it's all about craftsmanship, and I appreciate that shows confidence. The 2 meter PVC cable is light, which is nice to not affect your aim, but I find it's hard to keep it under control and it just curves around my desk. Uh, this would be just a visual gripe, as otherwise I think the cable is uh, perfectly fine. Now let's talk tracking. I immediately felt a smooth glide on my aluminum mouse mat thanks to the massive mouse feet, although a week later I could feel the glide being not as good as when I first received it, which could be the cause by the aluminum surface, so I might switch to fabric mouse mat to preserve the mouse feet. The sensor inside the caster is the PMW 3310 IR LED optical sensor with I would say pointless DPI of up to 10,000, but even when compared to the NEOS 7000 uh, with the exact same settings, the caster just felt so much better for precise aim and really reactive with zero negative or positive hardware acceleration, which made hours of CSGO matches so much more fun. I don't think I've ever been this accurate this quick. I wouldn't say my aim has improved, but it was easier, quickly glancing back to make sure no one was sneaking up on me, and those flick shots just landed time after time. And rewatching some of that footage while gaming, you can see that I don't move the mouse too much, but I do lift it occasionally to return it to my comfortable uh, center spot, which is easy thanks to proper curves to cup the mouse without any effort.
And lastly, the software is well laid out. All six buttons can be remapped to something else. Polling rate selection of up to 1000 Hertz, double click and crawl speed adjustment, and pointer acceleration should actually be left disabled. Under sensor performance, you have three DPI steps, pointer speed and lift distance is crucial, and surface analyzer could come in handy to verify the surface is being registered and there's nothing wrong with the sensor. The color settings are straightforward with some LED effects and color selection. And lastly, macro settings could come in handy if you decide to remap a button to something more specific and personal. And so I think the Myonix Caster will be a very popular gaming mouse for first person shooters. I mean, not only, but that would be, I think, the target audience for this one because it encompasses everything super well. The price point, the ergonomics, the switches, the driver customization and outstanding tracking performance so you can aim well. And we're giving it Hyrule Canucks Damn Good Award. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and follow for more gaming content and we'll see you in the next one.